Hello, folks, and welcome back to Chain Echoes. All right, so they left us alone out in the out in the world. Uh, hey, a merchant. Hey, merchant. We talked to you before. I don't remember. Oh, well, your stuff is garbage, sir. No offense, but your stuff is absolutely garbage. I mean, maybe buy a second golden breast, or a third, rather, golden breastplate. Not for Glenn, obviously, for the people who aren't here that I can't compare with. Yeah, see, that's the trouble I'd have to remember, and I couldn't tell you. Like, I have no idea if we can actually use any of this stuff. We've got the cash, right? We've got tons of cash. But I couldn't tell you. Could not tell you at all. Uh, have I talked to you, kid? I quiz you're only allowed to take off their tumults private in front of the boat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that. We did that. So, last time they left us alone. Well, okay, we already talked to Len and everybody over here. Uh, let's look at our quest marker here. What do we got? Uh, journal. Okay. Return to the inn. That's all we gotta do. Alright, just gotta remember where the hell the inn is. I was just thinking, last time we left us alone, uh, we had to go find Killian. But apparently it's no longer true. So I think the inn, I want to say, was up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we talked about Thraz. So I think it's just up here, right? Um, hello? Where do you want to go? Uh, lower floor. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay, I thought, I don't know what I thought it was. Uh, well, can't go through there. So, okay, here we go. Hey, guys. Entry is forbidden. Oh, the Holy One is filled with You may pass, of course, I guess. Although, I advise against it. Advise against it. Uh, because it'll kill me, or... This works torture, I tell you. But at least we have food and a roof over our heads. Worse than other parts of the world. Way to keep things in perspective, my dude. Now hurry up. God will notice your half-hearted behavior. Wow. I don't give a shit about Gibraltar. I work here because I have no other choice. Somehow to meet King's meat. That's totally fair. Got it. The work is demanding and drains you completely, but before God, we gladly devote ourselves. Alright, well, good for you. If we are hardworking enough, we might move up. I hear the R&D department has great working conditions. Yeah, they always say that about other departments, right? No, no, it's totally better in marketing. You totally won't sell your soul. At home, I was taught not to associate with such people, but the church and God should me that even these people are human beings. Even these people. Alright, I mean, it's progress, right? I'm no longer a complete and total racist, I'm just a slight bigot. Oh, okay, then you must be fine. Hey man, it's a process. They think they have it hard here? Do you know how hard it is to stand for hours doing nothing? That's... okay, no, I, I get I read you, I read you. That, that sounds... Um... Mind bending, basically. Everyone is dissatisfied. Should work harder. Diligent beer work. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, can't talk to you. Uh, nope, nothing there. There's a chest over here, though. It's one of the two. Decorated vest. Basically garbage. You'd think we'd only be eating watery soup down here, but we're actually getting large chunks of meat for every meal. What animal is this me coming from? <laughs> um, questions you probably don't want answers to. Do you like box flies? Just saying. Oh boy, you should learn how to answer. You ask the right questions if you want to stay happy down here. Yeah, that's that's fair. New supplies have arrived. Look at that leg. That must have been a huge cow. Big as a monster, at least. Big as a monster. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. Maybe a giant yak beast? I mean, I can see that. In this place, our provision think tinkers are working on our machinery. The work may be challenging, but those who are particularly talented may move on to gather breaths from R&D department. What should I do? Oh, dear God. I have to bring the poor woman in there a horrible message. Her husband died while making repairs at the outer walls of the city. He was so exhausted from all the work that he wasn't concentrating to miss a step. How am I to tell her that? Wow, that's horrible. 
There are more workers in here than beds. But since we work in shifts, it's not a problem. Dude, sharing a bed with somebody else, like, when you're not, you know, just trading out, is like, it's an experience. I would not recommend it. One freaking art. Are you shitting me right now? The hell? I mean, I guess these people have nothing, but still. This Bosun's content smells like... Um, my dude, that's not your regular boss. That is totally a bedpan, my man. Notice how there's one near every single one of the beds. You think that's a freaking coincidence? People basically piss and shit in there, my dude. I fell ill a week ago. My husband has to do all the work now in order to support us. Yeah, about that. Um, how do you feel about hard work? Okay, so there's nothing here for us. Tragic tales, but that's about all. Wow, that's a lot of debris. Is my imagination or is it moving slightly? It's weird. Uh, door over here that I cannot go into, it's red. Also, I pressed the space bar, nothing happened. I don't understand, but okay. I'm not sure why there's debris in a room. Like, they're sifting through the rip looking for something. I don't know why these guys guarded us against going inside. I have no idea. Back upstairs, please. Or I guess city floor or higher floors. I guess we were at the city floor before, so let's go higher. Just go exploring, why not? This is His Holiness Anya's chamber. He is currently not available, which is why the queue is so long. Oh, yep, sure enough, there, there's a queue. An audience with His Excellency. I'm so nervous. I prefer not to voice stuttering because I used to have a stutter, and, well, that would just basically re engage old habits, so I'd prefer not. I get it. There have been a lot of orphans in our bond since the war. We need more money to help them all. I told them all that His Excellency is currently not available, but they're still waiting in lines. Well, I mean, what else are you going to do, right? Alright, we have all the information on what they'll need sorted. We must convince His Excellency that they are in need of a new church. You have fun with that. I can't go in. That's hilarious. Okay. I mean, I guess there's nobody there, so there's nothing to do in there anyway. Unless there was a chest, but no, there's no there's probably no chest. Okay. So back to city floor. And now we go oh hold on, hold on, hold on. There was a way up on every single one of these, except for this one. Okay. I was just double checking. Make sure we didn't, didn't miss anything. Well then, how do we get to the inn? Was the inn over here? Well now they're blocking it, so maybe not. I'm trying to remember where the inn was. Was it in here? It was in here, wasn't it? No, that's the library. Ah, dang it. Um, still the library. Or a different library, I suppose. Yeah, okay, no, no. We talked to the... This is where they're, they're teaching people, right? I remember that. The problem is I went and left the inn, and now I have no idea where the hell the inn is. I remember going through all this. This all happened. I remember doing this. But, like... Where do I need to go? There's two chests around here, too, which would be great to find, I suppose. But... Also, if they're just gonna give me absolutely garbage... Okay, here we go. Here we go. We found it. Just stumbled upon it. That's great. Yes. Let's return for the day. Hey, Len. Uh... Out and walks on the other side of Glen. Everyone's not here now, Sienna. There's something I have to explain to you. I know you won't be able to believe me, and it will be the biggest surprise of this trip for you, but I have to get it off my chest. I was once part of the church. Shock, gasp, horror! We know that. Wasn't it obvious? How could we not have noticed? What? You belong to the church? You knew? Well, except Egil, apparently. How? You were well informed about the facilities in Shambhala. You seem to know High Inquisitor Raphael. 
And likewise, this Wyatt. Huh. Well then, Sardo's stolen your time. Anyway, to wrap it up, I uncovered these facilities in Shambhala and other crooked business and left the church. I've been traveling the world ever since. I'm just surprised no one in Marilla recognizes you. As High Inquisitor, I always had to wear a helmet. Ordinary residents and soldiers don't know my face. You had the rank of High Inquisitor? That's surprising. I wouldn't have thought of you capable of it. Yes, have fun at my expense. I am being honest for once and I've earned nothing but mockery. Thank you, Santa, for telling us the truth. They may tease you a little, true, but it means a lot to us. That's true. She came forward and actually, like, wanted to present the truth, so good for her. Thanks. Well, that's it. Let's return to our rooms. Is that it, though? Is it, though, really? Can't you sleep, Rob? I don't understand you, Sir Eagle. I'm the reason you're racking your brains? You should hate the people of Marilla with all your heart. They've oppressed your village and ultimately brought it to its death. Forgive me. Yeah, that's gotta be a difficult subject to broach. Huh, the church is to blame, that's true. But does that make every single resident guilty guilty? Or guiltily guilty? They belong to the church, isn't that reason enough? There can be many reasons why each one of them is a part of the church. However, not every one of them were involved in the fate of my people. Should I just condemn them all? It would be the easiest thing to do, but would it be the right thing to do? You look at it so logically. The common people who bullied me in the Court of Torment, I hate them with all my heart. Sir Eagle, you're a noble knight. Doesn't your pride hurt when you walk through Maryland? It's the death of my people that painfully pains me. But mere revenge will not bring them back. And certainly not if I some, take some random citizens as easy targets just to satisfy my need for revenge. If I did that, then I would be ashamed of myself. This would really hurt my pride. I understand. I wish I could see it the same way you do. Well, what's keeping you from it? Huh. Asking the tough questions there, Eagle. I wonder... Are you sure you want to do this? No, of course we're not sure. Our first priority is Len's well-being, after all. If we'd only been conscious, we could have stopped her from coming here. If you really plan to kill him, we'll throw the entire world into chaos. Are you aware of that? No, it would actually save the entire world. Take our word for it. Kill who now? It's funny, that looks like wild and crazy hair there. It's an interesting crown throne thing. You've screwed it up! What if Killen returned the stone to King Frederick? Even if he brought them the Grimoire and gave away our position, they won't be able to mobilize so quickly. Besides, we found Reyna's tomb. There's no longer any reason to stay in Volandis. Enough! I don't want to hear any more. I'll wait with you. You do not deserve to meet the Holy Mother. Your Excellency, Princess Celestia Valkyria of Terran is here. At last, I am honored to be able to greet the Holy Mother. Who would have thought you would be reborn during my administration of all times? I'm here because you wanted to speak with me. What is it? Your Excellency, leave the talking to me. You may also leave the room. Oh, the power behind the throne, huh? But... Very well. Wow, Marcus gave him a death glare, which was visible even in pixel form. If looks could kill. Celestia, welcome. My name is Marcus, and I am the leader of the Gandabras Society, which, as I'm sure you know, also organizes the church. I know of Gandabras, but originally you're from the Order of Lenar, aren't you? You know. Very good. What are you doing? How unexpected. The vessel is empty. The three guardians within you are gone. Three guardians? Celestia, you are here because I have to explain some things to you. The church is descended from the Order of Lanar, a group searching for a weapon that can defeat the Harbinger. We will work together to achieve this goal, but first we have another common enemy. You speak of the vein? Indeed. 
They were supposed to wait from their throne in another dimension for us to find a weapon. But the immortality they gained there went to their heads. They felt like gods who thought they could judge mankind. And that is why they created the Grand Gumar and destroyed the human world over and over again. They were afraid that mankind would become too strong. They made sure the population and progress would be set back for millennia. I mean, you guys have freaking Skylands and armies and shit. Like, okay, you're a little bit stuck in the Middle Ages, but like, I don't know. Some of your stuff is pretty advanced, right? I mean, they're, they're somewhere between, I don't know, somewhere around probably 1700s. That's not terribly far back, but it does. I mean, the history they have indicates they'd probably be in like, they'd be definitely a high technology civilization for sure. One of the big problems, I think, is the fact that they have a moon god who apparently stops them from reaching space. But aside from that minor problem, yeah, they, they would probably be pretty advanced. So that's fair. How is it we don't know this from history books? History is written by the survivors, and these are named by the main. They decide what is written. Wow. God-chosen propaganda. That's, uh, that's a new one. Even we of the Order do not know how many times the cycle has repeated itself. That's true. Yeah. Didn't they show us, like, six different apocalypses? It looked roughly the same every time, but they said it was like, no, no, these images are different every time, we swear. Yeah. Okay. No, that, that could be dozens of times, hundreds. Like, we don't know how long this could go. This is also the reason why you made these exist. Narratives change, sometimes on purpose, sometimes by accident. Over millennia, one story becomes another. Or all stories merge together after a while, right? Like, for example, the story of Noah's Flood is thought to have been a merging of several different flood stories, all just kind of melded into one. Just like, oh yeah, well, you know, there couldn't possibly be several different tiny floods all over the place. No, 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 it was one big flood. That's what it was. However, you maidens carry the unadulterated knowledge in your memories. No matter how many centuries passed, you all know what really happened. Not because of stories, but because you have all experienced everything yourselves. Yeah, okay, I can see where if you don't trust the written history, you've got to rely on oral tradition, right? And it's strange kind of oral tradition, right? Because you're kind of basically tapping into the memories of someone who lived it. Not 100% reliable, but maybe like 80%, which is an improvement if your written history, you're down to like, you know, 20% reliability. You are the truth of the order. Big responsibility? How much do you remember, Len? You really want me to trust you? I swear to God, I'm on your side. Uh, just out of curiosity. Which god? But what are your reason for the monsters on Shambhala? That's a good question. We need to use the Grand Grimoire to destroy the vein. But do you know the true nature of the Grimoire? It must destroy life and absorb the ether to absorb power. To kill the vein, we need to make the Grand Grimoire as strong as possible. This is why we created monsters that we could sacrifice to the Grimoire. Okay... But then why release the monsters into the general population? That That's weird. After all, we don't sacrifice humans like King Frederick. But you sent the monsters to the service of Eldria. Yeah, see, that's the part I'm having trouble with. We send the leftovers to our safe stations on the surface because we have developed something much better than those little beasts. We've created lumps of flesh that houses as much ether as hundreds of monsters. Is that what all this is about? To protect human life? We'll have plenty of time to get to know each other better. Will we, though? Celestia, there are three things we need in order to kill the vein. The Grand Gwemar is a weapon, the key from the Tomb of Reyna, and, of course, the fitting door behind which the vein are hiding. Here, you can have the key back. Okay, so he hands over the flower. So the key opens the way towards the vein, but this is nothing more than a flower. And what about the Grand Gwemar? Please hand it over. We fought hard for it. Yeah, about that little problem. It was stolen from us. What are you saying? You were going to take care of it. What's happening? 
Lord Marcus, we're under attack. Terran's troops have ambushed us. Impossible! How can this be? They could not have mobilized so quickly and caught up with us. I mean, obviously they have. Lord Marcus, our engine's been hit. Tyrant's generals are casting unimaginable magic. They've destroyed all the protective whale walls. Or whales, one of those. So this is rumored power that destroyed Nebrelia. Yeah, it's about to destroy you. You have escape pods, right? My lord, I've initiated all preparations for a counterattack. But for safety reasons, I advise you to get on a rescue ship with the Holy Mother. Yeah, okay, they have, they have escape pods. Our conversation must continue another time, Celestia. Uh, her name's Len, but okay. What's going on? Oof. Hey, you there, what's happening? Tarn's attacking us. Get to the shelters, quick! There's shelters? King Frederick's attacking the church? Has he gone mad? We need to find Len. Get out of here. Agreed. Okay. Uh, Len, we need to find... Okay, they went right to you. Or right to where she was. No one's here. Not even a soldier. They must have escaped into a shelter or rescue ship. Seeing the damage done so far, I would pick the ship. That's fair. Do you think they took Len with them? Of course, she's the Holy Mother after all. Come, I will lead the way to the hangar. Perhaps we can catch up. Alright, so we don't need to... Okay, nope, we need to do this ourselves. Alright. Need to get past the security doors. Past the... Oh, yeah, okay. That is a security door. We don't have the key to this door. Okay, so we need to go find the key. Oh, and battle the freaking... What the hell, my dude? We're trying to get out too. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, I don't really have elemental attacks, so soul parasite's not really gonna do much here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and poison shot you, I guess. And then I'm tempted to arms break these guys with an ultra move. Just so they don't do too much to us, but I don't know what they're actually capable of. So instead, I'm just going to Power Pierce. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we trapped. I don't know what that does. Did zero damage to you, though. Um, huh. Go ahead and shield everybody. Be on the safe side. I guess, um... Guys are weak to dark energy. Do I have any dark? Oh, Rob has, but Thra's on his side. Okay, since we have Amalia here, let's trade out to Sienna, because she can do some serious damage. He has to be. No, he can't. They don't have anything to steal. Alright, just go ahead and, I guess, go get Gary here. Nice crit. Nice crit. Okay, so spread that poison around. And power swing, I guess? I mean, the, the trapping didn't seem to do anything, so I'm not sure. Hey, you're gonna die. Okay, so you're dead. Smack her around. That actually hurt a lot. Oh, because she wasn't here for the shield earlier. Sorry, 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 Sienna. There you go. Okay, go ahead and make him bleed. And, I don't know, just shoot this dude. And then power pierce. And he's dead. Alright, that wasn't too bad. He has some gold on him. Pacifist charm? The hell does that do? Fifty percent chance to gain no aggro per action. Huh. Interesting. Um. Like, that's really, like, the exact opposite of Knight's Honor. 50% chance to gain no aggro. It's... I don't know if I want that, but it's an interesting idea. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna trade out... Hold on. Formation. Let's go ahead and trade Bethraz and Rob. I think Bethraz is going to be able to do just more damage. I think the same here for Victor and Sienna. With Amalia here... 
Uh, maybe we want to move Amalia and Victor to the same thing. Nah, maybe this is safer. Okay. Alright. I was kind of hoping there'd just be a key sitting around, but I suppose that's unlikely. Oh, hey, there's a key sitting around. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Why did I follow you? Please get us out of here. I'll sell you some stuff, okay? Alright. I don't think... Uh, do we have anything to sell you at all? I guess we have some loot. Yeah, we have the two nuggets we got before. Whatever. Here, just... Um, yeah, you know what? Just go ahead and take them. And... I think we're basically... Oh, right. We don't have... Don't blend the party, so no one's using the Fosh Art. Uh, Slingshot's worse. You're already using the Epe. You're already using the Flintlock. You're already using the Emerald Amulets. You have something better than the gun spear. You have Dojuri already. I don't have anybody who does the brass knuckles. And don't get something better than that. Yeah, okay, so basically all your stuff is garbage. Yeah, I mean, it would be downgrade for armor everywhere. Okay, so we should probably just go ahead and grab some meals. Those are effectively full heals. Um, that They're going to be good for us. So let's go ahead and grab, I don't know, 10 of these? That's probably overkill, but you never know. Uh, sweets is probably a good idea. Let's buy, like, ten of those as well. Again, probably overkill, but not a bad idea. And I'm sure there's stuff in here we can do, but... Uh, exchange parts, maybe? I don't know. Like, repair kit's not a horrible idea. I'm not actually sure how... Okay, it's his own seven, so let's just get another seven. Sure, why not? And I own six of these, so let's buy another six. What the hell? There. Took some of our money away, but so it goes. Really, I think probably most of our money... Okay, I can't do anything here. Most of our money shouldn't go to him. It should probably go to bolstering our equipment, because I'm pretty sure we have, if not the end armor, like, pretty close. But we'd have to know for sure before we start doing anything. Okay, doors open another door over here, which we do not have a key for. There's stairs over that way, and another door over here. Yep, okay, we don't have a key for that door either. Okay, so it's stairs it is. So we can go in here? No, okay. Yeah, the doors are not actually available to us. And we just go around the doors. Oh, what the actual shit is this? Tamed Beast and Beast Tamer. Okay. You're both weak to darkness, so that's what Bethraz is for, I guess. We cannot steal from either of you. Kind of feels like we should probably go for the team beast first, because he's going to be the most vicious. Right, he probably heals the beast. But this guy's going to be tougher, so let's, let's take him. Uh, yeah, make him, make him bleed. That's right. And then just to be on the safe side... Stop him from attacking too hard. Okay, so that'll help. And, you know, shield us. Sure, why not? Every little bit helps. Then they're weak to darkness, so Dark Spear. Okay, stabbing her sucks. Oh, don't. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Yeah, Petal Storm is probably a good idea. Let's do Petal Storm. Not a whole lot of damage, but I'll take it. And I guess just Power Pierce here to finish you off. Did not finish you off, but you will totally die to this. You might even die to the Bleat. So if you're going to die to the Bleat, and I suspect you will, then Yokogiri instead. There we go. Okay. Then, yeah, go ahead and heal yourself. And you get spoked again, that's fine. Dark Spear, use your weakest darkness, there you go. Make you bleed. Uh, you know what, break your arms. That's not actually what that does, but, you know. Uh, let's see, and then, I suppose? Yeah, skills your agility, sure, why not, let's do that. Okay, healed her up a little bit too, not that she needs it. Alright, go ahead and heal yourself, Maya. And then poke him with yet another Dark Spear to finish him off. 
Okay, you had a meal on him. Great. So we can go up that way. There is a chest right here, though. Leyline coat. I have a feeling somebody needs that. Who was that? You already have a leyline coat. You already have a leyline coat. And you already have a leyline coat. So we are... No, no. Okay, so I guess... My thinking was because... I don't know. We probably need to upgrade the leyline coat for everybody, but we probably can't do that yet either. Hold on. Hold the phone. It says there are three chests in here? Where, though? Oh, probably, like, on this... Okay, okay. So we probably need to go all the way up to four. And we'll be able to find it. Okay, so it's just... It's a maze. Got it. Got it. You know, not that there's a time crunch or anything. Not like anyone's attacking the entire city. Just saying. Um, what? Why would you lead me up here? Oh, okay, because I can go through here. Okay. Okay, there's key card B. And some upgrade equipment stuff. Okay, so we can't do anything here. We've got to go all the way back. And wrap around. Okay, so this leads us... Okay, so now we're over down on this side. Okay, so then this doesn't really go anywhere. This just basically leads us to a chest. Oh, no, the chest on the other side. Well, there's no bad guys. Hold on. Oh, he's going to get there from four. Okay. So we go to three from here. I guess we might as well open this up. I don't know if that actually matters at all, but... Yeah, okay, we've already been in here, right? Yes, okay. So, the wrap around. That's a weird divot, right? It seems strange, but I don't know what to do with that, so we're just going to ignore it. Okay, so here we are back here. We should be able to get access to some of the chests, but of course, cutscene. Oh, hey, it's Len. Wait, they're my companions. We have to take them with us. Fine, but hurry. Uh, what? What are you doing? What is the meaning of this? Oh, missed Marcus. Damn it, he of all people got away from me. Have you lost your mind? Don't believe anything Marcus says. He's just feeding you lies. What do you mean? Maybe the Vayne are both our enemy, but that doesn't make the Church our ally. Marcus took control of the Church long ago and split it from the Order of Leonor. He's not one of us. On the contrary, he belongs to a sect that awaits the return of the Harbinger. Is this true? Okay, I mean, it seems like Victor would know better than anybody else, so maybe she should ask him. Why are you keeping this from me? My echo is awoken. I don't want to hear any more lies. And you should not hide anything from me either. We understand. Forgive us. We have been silent for so long that we have to learn a new one on how to trust. I'll help you with this. I'm sorry for hitting you. God help me. They murdered the Pope. Whoops. Enough rambling. We must, we must escape. Yeah, um, the thing is, I'm a loot goblin, so, like, we could escape, and also our party configuration is completely different now, right? Yeah, actually, where's Len? Um, I'd rather have Len in our party than, say, Rob. We don't have room. Um, okay. Like, Tom K is not helpful right now, right? He's kind of not. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put Victor and Amala in the same thing there. Tom K will replace with Len. And maybe... Okay, so we had, like, Len and Bethraws in the same thing, right? Because if we need, like, elemental damage, they're basically our elemental powerhouses here. So, here, put Len there. Then Rob and Sienna together. Amali and Victor together. Adeline and Glenn together, I guess. I mean, Tom K's okay, but we don't really need to can anything right now. It didn't seem useful. Okay, so we just need to get up here. Uh, there's nothing up here. Nothing glowing or anything. 
I mean, it'd be a wonderful time to read, except for the fact that, you know, the city is going to fall and crash and burn and everyone dies. Oh, hey, look, Beastmasters. Hello there. Okay. Uh, we should probably just focus fire here. So, attacking everybody is fun and all, but I in think instead... Just focus one. Okay, they're gonna attack Glenn, no big deal. Attack the Thraws. Uh, go ahead and heal all here. And then Glenn, you should you should probably make sure they can't hurt us too bad. Much better, thank you. Yeah, much better. Much better. Okay. Go ahead and dark spear these fools. Uh, X slash for sure. They do get a lot of attacks, but since we weakened them, it won't be that bad. Alright. Uh, let's see. Maybe just go ahead and... You know what? Maybe Yoga Geary. Just damage them all. Okay, then go ahead and power swing here and damage them all again. Okay, he's gonna heal himself. Oh, and everybody else. I thought a healing potion would only heal one, but no. No. Alright, shield everybody. Save the TP, so that's great. Okay, Dark Spear again. Finish this guy off. Okay, so the heal didn't do much. That's good. X slash on you. Oh, shoot, we overheated. Uh, we gotta restrain. Pull us back a little bit. That did not pull us back all that much. Yeah, because the thing is, all of the enemy actions also raise our heat, right? Yeah, it's a problem. Um, Alright, defend reduces us a little bit. Here we go. Uh, heal all. That'll reduce us a bit. I would love to dispel, but I don't think that's really a thing. There's nothing to dispel, right? Yeah, there's nothing to dispel. Uh, Dark Spear, I think, is probably the best bet. Okay, Tacklin, no big deal. Uh, Exile, sure, why not? We'll go ahead and make... Uh, this guy's already bleeding. Make this guy bleed. Tacklin, the whole reason you're here is restrain, restrain, restrain. There you go. Okay. Back up into overdrive, which is great. Please heal us. Okay, now we can go a little crazy. Go ahead and kiss Yuri. Or... Okay, the Team Beast is almost dead. This'll hurt everybody. And possibly crit. Okay, solid crits on the bottom two. That totally worked out. Uh, please go ahead and summon attack here. That might kill them. Yeah, there you go. I dropped another meal. They're dropping full heals here. I'm a little wigged out by that. Okay, don't have a key to that door. At least not yet. So we gotta find it. Okay, so that's weird. That feels very weird. That feels like there's a secret there that I'm not seeing. Okay, can't go that way yet. We go this way? Nope, can't go down either. Oh, hello there, guys. Okay. I mean, it seems like the first thing we should do is make you bleed. It seems like the priest has got to go first, right? Okay, then Dark Spear for sure. Just for the weakness. We don't quite have our ultra yet. But I'm going to arms break. Shy arms break. I mean, this guy goes next, so maybe this guy. I mean, they all kind of go next anyway, but sure, this guy first. At least Amalia goes after everyone gets hurt, so that's something. Because then she can just heal all. There we go. Alright. Sure, might as well reduce. Why not? Let's go Yuffie Gary to hurt everybody. Crits on everybody. That was actually really good. Now we could ultra and reduce our chance of destroying us. Um, yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Hmm. 
Might as well use the Ultra when it's available, right? That still hurts. Okay. X slash make you bleed as well. Um, but the Roz, you gotta still focus on the priest. He's basically dead, but he does go next to just make sure he's dead. There we go. He had a bleed, so it might be fine. Oh, hey, crest block. That's great. Okay, go ahead and shield. Kind of lower our overgrab a little bit. Then... And Yoko Giri again. Okay, weren't so lucky to get crit every time, though, but that's okay. Uh, I think just go ahead and pierce... Yeah, that Team Beast, man, even with Arms Break, he's still incredibly strong. Okay, Dark Spear you to finish you off. There you go. Make you bleed. Uh, Malia, please go ahead and heal the Thraz. He's not feeling very well. Sienna's basically out of TP. We should probably trade her out, but it might not matter if this guy just dies. Okay, nope, doesn't matter at all. All right. Okay, so the key has got to be over here. Yeah, here we go. Key card C. And a golden brigadine, which I'm pretty sure we can't really use. Um, yeah, it's definitely worse for Glenn. Mm, arguably not that good for Bethras. You can't use it at all. You can't use it at all. You can't use it at all. You've already got a Golden Brigadine. Uh, you could use it. You could totally use it. And it's an upgrade for you. Hey, what do you know? Someone could actually use something. All right, great. Actually, he's using leather gear. Why aren't you using decorated vest, my dude? That's a good question. Didn't we have him in decorated vest? Well, it's definitely better than the Golden Brigadine for sure. Why the hell are you weathering only leather gear? That is so weird. Uh, defense 80, mine 72 versus... Yeah, okay, decorate vest is better for you in every regard. That's a little weird. I'm not sure how that happens. And you're already wearing Golden Brigadine. Okay, so... So much for that. The Golden Brigadine, not helpful. Oh, nope, that's not the key to that door. So, what does C go to? Down here, maybe? Yeah, okay. It goes down here. Into the dining room. And I've got us another key card, but there's two more rooms down here. Okay, more meals. It's great, I guess. More heals are good. And a Tachi. It's got to be good for Sienna, right? Okay, it's a minor upgrade. I'm kind of glad we didn't invest in any upgrades for the Dashiri, otherwise I'd feel a little embarrassed right now. So there's another door over here. Yeah, we want to go through four because four has... Um, hold on, we just... Okay, we just passed through a screen marker. That's weird. Yeah, okay. There was no actual loading screen there. That was very strange. So we want to go. This way leads to four. Yeah, here we go. Got a stylish accessory. Stylish how? Ultra moves are more efficient. I mean, so they don't use as much of the ultra bar, so ultra bar happens... Uh, it can happen more frequently, which is not a horrible idea. It's just a question of what we actually want to trade out, like... I really like the defense Gorget on Glenn. The attack Gorget on Bathraz is pretty good. Like, I don't know what we actually want to trade out. Heavenly Ring does reduce cost of skills, right? Which is good. Uh, Mystic Ring is raises TP. Bangle is raises defense. Immune against blindness, which is only so-so for light, I suppose. Okay, two times your additional SP is whatever. And life threat is... Oh, crit chance up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's really good for Sienna. I don't know. We've gotten a bunch of different kinds of things in here that, you know, are kind of cool. But maybe we should start selling these. Stanley always succeeds. You give you off the healing belt, which means heals can crit. Hate increase, which seems maybe Eggle. 
But the chance to counter with an attack is actually pretty good. I mean, 30% is not much, but it's, it's up there. The can machine, Tom King needs that. He absolutely needs that. Um, maybe, maybe Cool Scarf on somebody, but we're not really running out of TP except for Sienna, and Sienna really needs the crits. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we've got some good stuff going on right now. I don't really want to mess with it. Okay, so it looks like we've actually gotten all the chest here. So we should go up to five. That might let us escape. Maybe. It's five, right? Uh, no, that goes nowhere? Yeah, that's that's a weird painting thing. There's gotta be a reason for that, but I don't know what it is. I know we need to go through the door up there. I just, I just want to explore. Oh, we already looked at this, didn't we? Yeah, 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 we already did this fight. Okay. Okay, so just two ways to get to the same place. Um, oh, are we going through a hatch? Not the kind of escape I would have expected. Looks like we could technically... We technically could jump down from here. Uh, we'll go ahead and stay right now. Right now, thanks for watching. This has been Chain Deckos. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.